yep, back out yet again. This week we're on my holidays. Um, we've come to the Isle of Skye, but we're not staying, well, we are staying on Skye tonight, but tomorrow we're going to go on the islands opposite, which is Harris and Lewis. Got these tents here. Rob's in his, uh, this is it. if you watch my old videos of Rob, he's in this. This used to be his main tent. Van Gogh Tempest, Tempest 200. Mint tent. Solid. Look how rock solid it is. We had some wild camps in that, didn't we? Wild. Yeah. Like this tent. And I'm in that. Which, oh, that's dead. Uh, people think uh, you just get that and you use it once. How many times have I used it now? This is the second night. Second night in a row. I was out last night, isn't it? I stayed at the Red Squirrel campsite last night. It's great, man. Oh, but I've given the game away. We're car camping. And we're just on the, <laughs> we're just at the side of the road. Isle of Skye. There's a campsite. There's a campsite up the road. What was it called again? Camp... Camus Moor. Camus Moor. Camus Moor, Camus Moor, riding through the glen. <laughs> Oh, it's Thomas Moran. But yeah, we found um, the lesser spotted litter bird has been making its nest. Absolutely disgraceful, that like. And that's kids, you know. That's just Coca Cola and Red Bull tins there. Absolute disgrace. There's no you can do about it. You don't know what disease is in there. They've got, they've got a big fire there. At least I had the decency to keep it in an enclosed pit, like. Awful that little, like it's awful how we don't get blamed for that. It's like I said to Rob, you know, if we did that, why would we still be here? So if anybody comes, we'll just say that. Yeah, so tomorrow we're heading over to the islands, aren't we? On the ferry. That's where we start doing the real wild camping. This is just a little introduction. Just to say hello. Hello. So we'll just uh We'll just leave that there and the real fun begins unless anything amazing happens between now and tomorrow the real fun begins in the next scene Reet. just while i'm uh, just while i'm sitting here i've got sent this off those lovely people at claris claris or claris however you want to say it Look at the size of that. This is like a little re retro lantern. CL3 or something like that. It's got a nice carabiner on the... Oh! Drop it. Good idea to drop it like this. Nice carabiner on the top. Which will hang nicely from there, look. Doesn't it look like a little old-fashioned light? But the good thing is... It has an orange light, this mood light, which is lovely. And then it has the, the normal light, that's your normal light, and then a really bright white light. Look at that, that lights up the whole place. That's amazing. That is really bright, that. And then, if I can just See, I can't see because it's so bright. You see on the button again, you press it again, and it has let's turn that torch away. That's like a mood changing pulsating light. Which again is lovely if you want to just drop off to sleep with that pulsating away. Don't forget to turn it off though. A couple of other features is a minute, I'll just turn my torch off. I've got a couple of the features. It's magnetic on the top. Quite a strong little magnet. So you can stick it to metal surfaces if you want to use it as a work light. It's got a type C charge. Type C charger. And it also acts as a power bank, so 
you plug oh, you plug your type C in there into your phone power bank emergency power bank what a bit of kit and it's got this metal frame on it here to protect it it's solidly built it's got a screw thread in there so you can put it on a tripod <laughs> it does everything amazing I love it it's so bright oh it's all really bright but yeah I'll put a link in the description for that Claris CL3 very good I'll be using that because that's a lovely size look just fits in the palm of your hand there rechargeable obviously okay have a look at the links So we've got set up, didn't film the walk in because it wasn't very far. Uh, just here, Rob's there. I'm just here. What do you think of this pitch? Pretty amazing, really. Mm. Look at that. That's all up. Postcard. There's the, uh, uh, the white sands of Luskintyre Beach. blue water turquoise water not keen on getting in it though it's a little bit chilly it's only about seven degrees there's a wind coming straight off it that's why we've got the doors facing a different way Hi. so that's it so we're gonna get get a beer on we might have a walk down to the beach right Gotta get a beer on them. This location. Amazing. So after that little trip, a little donda along the beach, what a lovely beach. Some lovely little coves if you want to come for a picnic and that, hide in the coves. We've got, uh, it's tea time isn't it? Aye. We've got the beach barbecue responsible by bringing the this this unit daily aye aye so get on 
Hopefully it won't drop on the ground, we'll make sure. Are you living your best life? I am, living the dream. Look at this. You can't ask for oh, better than this, like. Living the dream. We're just expecting a lovely sunset as well. It's a nice colours. We might not see the sun dip because of this hill, but we'll get the sky red, hopefully. We'll come back for that. But yeah, just gonna get these buttes done. Aberdeen Angus stick. Glad I came. Didn't want to come at first. I thought, Harris, what's there? What's there? Nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm already seeing that. There's a couple of lads up there in them dunes up there. Camping, they've got a big tent. Right, it's good. It's very chilled out here. Stick a couple in the corner and just we'll have you in each now. Put the cheese on. You can put your cheese on. Cheese, what, cheese. put it on there? Yeah, and let it melt on it. Melt on do you want to do that? I'm, well, I. That's what you do. Alright. <sighs> Isn't it? Well, you can do, I suppose, right? You might lose a bit of cheese. <sighs> Lovely that. Right. We slice. I'll have to come back because you need two hands. Right. So we're in the midst of burger heaven here, like. We've got the uh, brioche buns. The amazing backdrop. A little bit of a breeze, but you know, we've got we've got courts. We can live with that. We've got the big courts. We've got the big courts, eh? <laughs> I mean, look at this, man. Didn't realize Harris had all these mountains on it. So yeah, this is it. You work on the site from morning till night. That's living all right. That's living all right. And you come to the Isle of Harris. Walking in the sun, drinking schnapps, having fun. That's living all right. But you only do that so you can come to places like this. Having a few beers. Um, we start. We this. We speed it up, and we're gonna put it in a cartoon mode. Cause it's daft, right? I don't care. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You take this middle finger and you put it in your horse. <laughs> Ah, we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Here we are then. I was uh, pitched there. Rob was just here. No, he was just here. Flat. I can't remember where you were. No fire sign back where it belongs. Ah, I was just joking about that. <laughs> the fire sign. We didn't really burn it. Aye. Right, so we've left Knee Trace. That's where we'll have a little barbecue. Nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Enjoy that? It was grand. Oh, grand, was it? It was grand. Well, if he says it was grand, it must have been grand. 
Seven. Let's take one last look at this beach. I mean, you know. We're going to go on to the next one, see what happens. Um, and as George Michael always used to say, Club Tropicana drinks are free. <laughs> I don't know. Right, we'll see you later.